I'm Wendy with Healthy Traditions. Today we're going to be doing our recipe video. It's a little different than before. We're going to be trying to do some meal prep. So um, I have two main recipes and a couple sides. Um, I'm going to show you how to kind of prepare it all at one time um, and maybe save it in some containers um, for later in the week. Maybe you have basketball games or you're needing uh, lunch at work. You know, you can have these and warm them up as needed. Um, these are some nicer containers that you can get their glass um, and they have a plastic lid. They're pretty sealed. I like these ones. We well, bought them on Amazon. They're pretty cheap. Um, you can put them in the dishwasher and the microwave so they're easy to clean and um, take them wherever you're going. So we're going to get started with our chicken. So here we're just starting with our chicken. This is two pounds of boneless, skinless chicken breast. These are actually the tenders that we kind of just chopped up. Um, and so we're gonna use about one pound for each recipe, but they're all gonna have the same spice mix. So we just have some dried oregano. We have some onion powder, garlic powder, pepper, and a little bit of salt. It's a quarter teaspoon of salt. I always start with the least amount of salt just to make sure it has flavor and then we can add more as needed, but you just can't take the salt away. So this is a really nice seasoning for this chicken. Um, it's gonna work in our chicken kebab recipe and also for our cheesy chicken with cauliflower rice recipe. So this is all mixed up and this is going to get put into two different bowls. So half of this is gonna be saved and then this half I'm gonna add some vegetables to. So I've chopped up some vegetables. I tried to keep them about the same size as the chicken or a little bigger. And you know, we wanna make sure that the chicken cooks on the skewers, um, but any kind of non-starchy vegetable you like. Um, we did some red onions, we've got peppers, we've got zucchini. You can use any kind of summer squash. Um, I've seen people put asparagus, uh, cherry tomatoes. Really, you can just use your imagination with this. So we're just gonna kind of toss this around to share these spices. And then we'll be ready to put these on. Almost our ready to skewer my vegetables, but of course I forgot my oil. So I'm just gonna add about a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half of olive oil, and uh, mix the veggies up in there. If you've ever done vegetable skewers, um, you know that you have to soak the wooden skewers before you cook them, you know, so they don't catch on fire. So we have our soaking here just in a dish. You can use a sheet pan and that works well. Um, I think we have them soaking for about an hour. So this is where you can just kind of get creative however you want to do it. You can do some of the skewers with just vegetables, um, which you can cook them and then save them for a side later in the week. Um, but for tonight, we're going to have this for dinner, so we're going to just just go ahead and do chicken and the vegetables, however you want to do this. Um, just kind of push them on there and then skewer your chicken on there. I'll just go squash, maybe a big mushroom. Okay, and then you're going to have all your skewers done. You're going to set them on your tray until you're finished. If you have a grill, you would heat up your grill outside to like a medium, you know, medium high heat. Kind of cook them all the way around on each side until the chicken's cooked through. And you can use a thermometer to check and make sure it reaches 165 degrees. Um, or you can just throw them in the oven, like on a broil or, you know, 350, um, and then just let them cook that way. Hi, I'm Roberta with Healthy Traditions, and today I'm going to show you how to do quick pickled onions. First of all, you need boiling water, hot water, and you pour them over your sliced onions. And all you need to do is pour them over and then you need to count to five once they're covered. One, two, three, four, five, and then we need to drain them, so I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. We've drained the onions. It's very quick. It's just to soften them up. Then we put them in our jar. Could be a jar, could be anything um, glass, preferably. And just fill it up and put it to the side and then we'll get the brine ready. Put these aside. The next step is very easy. 
We have um, pot on, and we're going to toast cinnamon, cloves, red pepper flakes, um, and small soft pan till they're fragrant. You can smell that, it's starting to smell. I wish you could smell it. Then you add salt and sugar. And whisk it together for a little bit. And then you add your brining, which is half a cup of lime juice. Apple cider vinegar. And just let it stir around until it dissolves. The sugar and the salt will dissolve. Looks like everything's dissolved. You turn it off here. And we're going to pour this into the jar. Careful, it's very hot. I'm going to add the cinnamon sticks. temperature before you put the lid on it, seal it, put it in the refrigerator. And that's okay. it. Okay, hi, I'm Haley from Healthy Traditions. I'm going to be going over the cauliflower rice portion of our recipe. So for this, all you'll need is a head of cauliflower, something to grate it, or food processor, a little salt, a little pepper, some oil for your pan. And this recipe does call, call for cheese, but uh, we're gonna add that in later when we're assembling our meal boxes. About half of our head of cauliflower, just with a normal grater. Um, you'll just want to be careful of your fingers and you just grate until you run out of cauliflower. If you don't want to grade your cauliflower, it also comes pre-graded for you. You can find this in the produce and in the freezer section of um, your local grocery store. So we have our pan heating up over here. We're just gonna come and drizzle in our olive oil. And then we're gonna add in our grated cauliflower. Top it off with a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. And then we'll just mix that up and let it cook for about five or so minutes. Our cauliflower rice over here, um, it's cooled about a minute so that way it's easier to serve. We're just going to divvy it up evenly into our prep containers and then we'll add the rest of our meal. And there we go. Okay, so we're back with the other half of our chicken. I'm gonna add some oil to my pan. We had to switch pans halfway through because our other one stopped working. So we're improvising here. So I'm gonna kind of just try to coat the pan. I'm adding my seasoned chicken to the pan. All right, spread it out so it cooks evenly. We're just gonna cook this until it's done. Um, if you're not ever sure if your chicken's done, you can always use a food thermometer to check that the temperature has reached 165 degrees. But I think, you know, we can just cut one of these open and see that it's no longer pink inside in the end and then we'll know it's done. So we're gonna let these cook up here for a few minutes. All right, our chicken's almost finished here. I'm just gonna push it aside and add some broccoli. My pan's big enough I can do that. At home, you could take your chicken out and then add your broccoli. I'm gonna just add a tablespoon of oil, help the broccoli cook. Adjust my heat up a little bit. So I'm gonna cook the broccoli until it's tender. Um, it can have a little bit of, um, it could still be a little bit raw because you're gonna heat it up in the microwave when you reheat these meals. So when this chicken's done, 
And just to make sure it's done, I'm gonna pop one open and it's perfect in there. So we'll go ahead and just scoop these over to, I'll move this over here, our meal prep containers. If you made extra chicken, you can always use this chicken in like a chicken soup or maybe on a casserole. You could chop it up and make tacos if you want to make a chicken salad. It's pretty nice. So we'll cook up this broccoli and then we'll go ahead and add it to our containers. We're almost done. So I'm just gonna add a little splash of water to my broccoli to make sure that it's gonna cook. Um, it'll help it steam and cook in the inside a little bit so it's not gonna get too brown on the outside. It's almost done. Okay, so the broccoli's done cooking. Um, it's still, you know, a little bit hard in there, I'm sure, but once we heat it in the microwave with all the other things, when we reheat this meal, it's gonna soften up and be perfect. So we're gonna put these in our meal containers. Okay. And then the, the final thing we do is gonna top them with some cheese. This up, the cheese will be all melty, everything will be cooked nice. It's a good weeknight dinner. So just a little bit of cheese on top so everyone gets that flavor. I'm gonna try to let these cool a little bit more to room temperature and then I'm gonna cover them I'm gonna label them with the date and stick them in the fridge and they're ready for whatever night this week we choose to have this for dinner. So we're gonna go cook our kebabs. We're gonna come back and show you all the other things you can make with this prepping. So the shish kebabs are done cooking. You can see I tested the meat and it was done. Um, all the vegetables got really charred. I did this in the oven. We have a convection oven downstairs in the kitchen, so it worked really well at about 400 degrees. Um, so this is gonna be our dinner today. We have a little green salad and our kebabs. Um, tomorrow night we can saw out, you know, from the freezer, just take it out of the fridge and heat up this meal for four people when we have soccer practice. Um, over here, we have all these things now in the fridge that you can go ahead and make these kind of Buddha bowls is what we like to call them. Um, you can use brown rice, but we already have some cauliflower rice in this one. Um, we got some beans for protein. We used our pickled onions from earlier and just some fresh greens. Um, here I kind of made the same thing, but just with our shish kebabs. Um, and here as well, just with some of the cauliflower rice, um, just different flavors all around. Uh, you can eat all week with all of this food. Um, the final thing for the bowls you would just put like some lime juice a squeeze of lime on top um, maybe some olive oil salt and pepper to taste um, but otherwise you know this is pretty easy menus um, to kind of prep for one day and then be able to eat for the rest of the week thank you Thank you for watching our cooking video for meal prep. Um, I hope if you guys make some of these recipes, you can email the pictures of them um, and let us know how you like them, um, as well as any recipe ideas that you have, um, favorite recipes you'd like us to kind of make a little healthier. So let us know.